All right, good morning, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. It's now 5.30 a.m. I've been up for about 45 minutes. I caught about a half hour of the live stream of Ring IQ, so I'm a little bit motivated for some boxing talk. I'm not usually up this early, but I am. And the dogs want a bit of exercise, so what am I going to do? Now, I want to talk about Pat McCormack and Mark Dickinson. Two lads, spoke to them quite a few times, of course. Um, in fact, Pat, <laughs> Pat's an absolute nutcase. He really is, uh, but I love him. I think he's absolutely brilliant, him and his brother Luke. Uh, they uh, had a few beers and uh, were winding me up on the Northeast IFL and all that kind of stuff. Mark Dickinson, I get on well. And of course with his dad, Mark Dickinson Senior. All brilliant people. Now them two signing with Matchroom. Now, listen, not too much happens in the Northeast with like Northeast fighters that I don't know about. It really isn't, uh, but I don't know about this one. I genuinely, genuinely didn't know. So well done to Matchroom and everybody for uh, keeping that to yourselves. I didn't know that Mark and Pat were even available. Of course, they were signed to uh, Probellum. I'm going to presume that they're no longer signed with Probellum. It appears that Probellum are still going through a transitional period of whatever's going on behind the scenes, right? Um, and I do wonder what's going to happen also with the other Probellum fighters. As far as the Northeast is concerned, obviously Ben Reese. Ben Reese, for those of you who don't know, um, he's one of the best talents in the United Kingdom, maybe even the world. Ben Reese. So, if, so if somebody could snap him up, wow, that'd be unbelievable. What's happening with Pat's brother Luke? Uh, I mean, as I hear rumours, but rumours are just that, aren't they? Rumours. Hopefully, none of it's true. Uh, but with uh, Pat, Pat is one of the best talents in the world. He's got everything at his feet, and he knows this. I'm not telling him something that. Uh, he hasn't already been told before. His career, his future, his potential superstardom in the sport of boxing is all on him. You know, he needs to keep himself uh, out of trouble, which he's made the right decision by moving away from the Northeast, that's for sure. Um, but absolute superstar, he really is. And a, and a really, really nice lad as well. And I like him and his brother Luke, absolutely brilliant, brilliant uh, fighters, brilliant people. Uh, Mark Dickinson is, again, a super talent. Absolutely super, super talent. Um, I, think, I think both of these lads are going to be world champions one day. For real, I do. And I don't say that lightly. If I didn't think that one or both of them weren't going to be, I wouldn't say anything. Okay? I'd say, well, potentially. But I genuinely believe that they are going to be world champions. Now, I did notice that in all the build-up, well, I say build-up, the press conferences and the uh, interviews with IFL and all that, when they're speaking with them, they're speaking with uh, Eddie Hearn and everything, IFL being the usual paparazzi scumbags that they are, rather than just cut a video, they took the light off of Pat and Mark, because they want to talk to Eddie Hearn more about Conor Ben, the whole Conor Ben situation, where of course you're hearing them do the formalities of talking about Katie Taylor, do the formalities I was talking about Mark Dickinson and Pat McCormack, and you can almost hear it in the reporter's voice again, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Let's just talk about Connor Ben. That's all I want to talk about. Takes a shine off them. That's why I felt they're really starting to piss me off lately. They really are, and to their paparazzi ways. Um, anyway, great signings, great signings. There's quite a few signings up here in the Northeast that uh, these promoters should be looking at. I don't know if they are looking at them. To be honest with you because there are some absolute superstar potential superstars up here there really really is um but i mean that's up to the promoters and the managers they want to uh sort all that out uh but looks like eddie Hearn matchroom could be returning to the northeast at some point because uh for quite some time even though that uh, they were putting on quite a few shows up here in a while they haven't done it in ages um obviously with the likes of lewis ritson and april hunter and that and savannah marshall uh moving to uh other promotional platforms they 
had Callum French and Cyrus Patterson. Again, two superstars, potential superstars. They really are. But now, of course, now they've got four Northeast fighters. They're going to get more. Well, if they want more, Eddie Hearn, hit me up. Anyway, that's my thoughts. You drop me yours about Pat McCormack and Mark Dickinson signing with Matchroom. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch your next video.